Hi everyone, Will from Runchat here. So in this tutorial, we're gonna look at how to describe images to produce prompts to create other images with similar kind of content and style, which just takes a lot of the guesswork out of writing your own prompts, which can be kind of frustrating to start with because you have writer's block and things like that. And this will just give you a good starting point that you can then use to curate and control and direct towards your own design goals. Another thing which is quite nice about this approach to generating images from reference images is it can help to avoid some of the kind of aesthetic cliches with image generating models because if you have a prompt which is pretty simple you'll tend up tend to end up with images which lean more towards the kind of inherent biases of the generative models you're working with so if you say a car then the model is going to go ahead and produce a kind of car it thinks you'll like a car it's been trained to produce which tends to have a lot of aesthetic bias Whereas if you have a very detailed prompt, you are able to kind of push the model into some less typical direction. So go ahead and sign up for Runchat at runchat.app or log into your account, head to the editor, and then just click new Runchat to get started. We are gonna use a text fast node. So choose text fast from the default node menu. And for our prompt, we can keep this pretty simple. Let's just enter write a detailed prompt to generate a single image with the same design and photographic aesthetic as the reference image. And we're gonna connect up a reference image to our context here, and then we'll describe it. Uh, you can, if you want, change the system prompt for this one. So by default, the text node in RunChat, it's gonna return succinct markdown. That keeps responses brief and makes this node run really quickly, but we, in this case, might want more detailed outputs, so we can turn that off and remove the instruction. Okay, let's find a reference image. Let's just use one from an architecture blog. Paste that in. And we'll plug that into the context. Though, you know what, let's just collect a couple. There's another one, copy image. So these are obviously real photographs. And what I'm interested in doing is trying to produce some images that also look like real photographs, that don't look like AI generated images. I want them to look pretty real. So let's connect this up to our prompt and hit play and we'll see what we get. Okay, we get a detailed prompt out. Now we're going to use that prompt directly. So we take it and produce an image accurate. I'll use an image accurate node. And let's create portrait images and just hit play. So the image accurate model is quite good at following really long detailed prompts. It also has fewer aesthetic biases than some of the other models. And you can see that it's done a pretty good job of capturing a lot of the aesthetic of the reference images. Uh, it's got similar content to the reference image. It's got a similar composition in terms of it's an outdoor shot with have changes in the grade. We've got the same kind of playful colored awnings and things like that. Now, because RunChat is all fully parametric, there's nothing stopping us bringing in a whole lot of other reference images, connecting them all up to this context input and playing or regenerating our prompts for every reference image, regenerating our um, uh, image accurate results as well. So we've got a workflow now where we can connect a collection of reference images, we'll describe each one, and then generate a similar image with the image accurate node. If we like an output image, we can grab it, drag it out, blow it up, look at it carefully. And you can see that this doesn't have a lot of the characteristics of typical AI generated images. Um, and that's because we have quite a detailed prompt. If we want to, we can also turn up the variations. So this will generate two variations now for each one of our reference prompts uh, to produce a whole collection of images. And again, we can just keep bringing in more and more references. So we have slight differences now in each one of these, slight changes in the composition of the buildings changes in the, the way the images are framed, 
So obviously the prompt contains, you know, like a central yellow stair, a central green door, things like that. So there are consistencies here across these images, but we get slight variations. All right, and that's just a really useful way for you to get started with exploring how to describe images and produce similar content. Of course, what we can do is now that we have this base prompt, you can always add to this base prompt to change the subject or change the style if you want to, just by inserting another node in here. So let's say instead of producing images of, um, uh, I don't know, like uh, these kind of like raw concrete glass buildings or with a particular color, you might say, hey, we only want the color scheme to be this, or we want the concrete to be have like a red oxide in it, or we want to position this in this location or whatever it might be. We can just add to that prompt and regenerate our images. 